Hi everyone, welcome to this new video on sector analysis. I have already touched this topic in the past when uh, I was speaking about uh, Zax.com, for example, that is a website where you can find uh, information about the sector of your stock, and also Finvis.com. Uh, if you don't remember, you can uh, watch those videos. And why this is important? Because usually, when we want to buy a stock, for example, if the sector is strong, it's more likely that the stock we are interested in is also following. And at the same time, if the sector is weak, then I will not buy. Maybe it's good to look for weak sectors if we want to short sell. Now, as I mentioned, we have already seen Zax.com and Finvis for uh, finding out if the sector is strong or not. Today, I'm going to show you other two tools. One is uh, similar to Finvis, I would say, and the other one is more uh, visual, a visual approach. Okay. Now, before starting, as usual, the disclaimer. And before moving to these two uh, resources, I want to give you an overview of the sectors uh, in the US market. And in order to know if the sectors are doing well or not, we can use the ETF, so the exchange traded funds that are tracking those sectors. So as you, see, uh, as you can see here, there are 10 sectors. Um, now it depends on the resource that you use. In Finvis, for example, they divide the US market in 9 sectors. Here we have 10, but more or less uh, they are similar. So we have energy sector, industrial, healthcare, financial, real estate. Then we have uh, consumer discretionary that sometimes are called services. For example, in, Fil in Finvis, they use services. Uh, utilities, technology, materials, and consumer staples that are uh, sometimes are called consumer uh, goods. And if you notice, some of them are uh, highlighted in red, other uh, in blue. What is the difference? So those highlighted in red are cyclical. It means that when the economy is doing well, usually they are outperforming. But when the economy is doing bad, they are also uh, underperforming. Whereas the defensive sectors are those that are, uh, you know, when the economy is uh, really going well, they usually underperform, but they are more uh, stable when the economy is doing well. Okay, so just notice this. Um, so this uh, division in 10 sectors is the same used by the website that I'm going to show you now. So that's the website, it's called Sector uh, SPDR. And as you can see, here we have the uh, 10 sectors that I just showed you, right? And they also give uh, a description on the right. Uh, if you uh, put your mouse here, you will also see the summary of the names, okay? So when you go to this website, I will put the link in the description, you will see this and let me show you what I think is uh, interesting here. So the first thing is under tools, okay, the sector tracker that I open here. If you remember the video on Finvis, this is quite similar to what we have there. So we can choose the one day or five days, one month, and here you see the performance of the sector, right? So for example, you may notice if we take the three months, we can see, um, I don't know, technology is doing well, right? Then we go back to one month, it's doing even better. And five days, still the top performing. So it seems that technology is quite strong recently, right? But, for example, consider utilities. Uh, three months performance was uh, not the best, but was good. Uh, one month, very bad. And, and one week also quite bad. So utilities probably at the moment is a sector to avoid, right? If you want to go long, of course. 
You can also visualize this information in another way. If you go to a heat map here, you can uh, see the same thing with colors, right? So green, as they, they tell you here, green is good and red is bad. And then again, you can choose your one month, three months, what you want, right? And finally, they also have this that is quite cool, the sector charting. Here you can compare the performance of sector with, uh, with a chart. So for example, we mentioned before technology and utilities. Let's see how they look. So we remove this, we click on technology, and now you have uh, technology. You click also utilities, and you can clearly see that technology is doing much better than utilities. Right? And then you can add, if you want to add financial, you can, you can do it. Um, and if you want to remove, you click again. It's really interesting to compare uh, the sectors. Um, another thing that you can do with this website, if you click here the symbol of uh, stock, you get something like that. I try with Google. So they give you some financial information but I think Finvis is much more advanced. What is interesting here, they tell you the sector of the stock, right? So if you want to invest in a stock, you may, you may say, okay, I want to check if the sector is strong. And the question is, okay, what is the sector of this stock? So you can have this information here, right? And remember that if you go on Finvis, like uh, here, I check Google, again, you can see the sector here. And this one, if you remember, is the industry. As I said before, there may be some small differences between the classification of Finvis and, and uh, <coughs> sector uh, SPDR, but more or less they are matching and, and it really depends which tool you want to use. So remember, when you want to go long, it's a good idea to check if the sector is strong, right? So remember, there is this uh, ranking list of uh, Zax, there is the Finvis uh, performance. Uh, you can use this one, you can have the overview here, and you can check if the sector is doing better and better, moving from, uh, for example, three months to one month to five days. You can compare the sectors with the charts. Um, another way you can do that, that I want to mention, is by looking at the uh, chart of the, of the ETF. So for example, um, well, let me just reload this. We were speaking about Google, right? And Google belongs to the technology sector. And if you remember technology sector, uh, the ETF is XLY, right? Um, now, what we can do, this by the way is TradingView, is a quite uh, interesting uh, website where you can have, uh, you can chart, you can see the chart of your stocks and you can also add indicators. If you remember my video on moving averages, I say that when the price is above the 20 exponential moving average, that can be um, an indication of an uptrend. So an easy way to see if the sector is doing well or not is uh, you can add, uh, uh, let me find moving average exponential, right? And that's here, but this is the nine days, so we want the 20. And again, remember, this length depends on the um, time window you are interested in. If you are more a uh, short or medium, let's put it red. So for example, here you see that clearly the price is above the 20 exponential moving average. The moving average is looping up, so it's a quite bullish indication, right? So if you want to go long on a technology sector, this, there is a confluence in a way, right? So this 
uh, chart is telling you that the sector is doing well. Um, here you can see that, uh, for example, you look here. Um, in the last uh, three months, uh, one month, and also one week, it was doing very well. Um, you can even do the charting, right? And then you can compare with the other sectors. I mean, I don't show you all of them, but you can see that this basically one of the best, if not the best. Right, so actually you can add all of them. So yeah, it seems it's actually the best. Um, okay, so that's all. I show you the a few ways that you can um, use to find out if the sector is strong. So the first one is using the sector SPDR website where you have different ways to uh, visualize data or if you really like chart and moving average you can use trading view and probably in the next video I will show you how you can combine all those information uh, to get a clear indication right because now you may be confused there is uh, um, Zax there is uh, uh, Finvis, then we have uh, this uh, trading view with a moving average, and then we have a, a sector SPDR. So how can we quickly find out if the sector is strong by combining all this information? So I will make a video to show you that. But for now, already with those tools, you will have a clear um, idea if the sector is something that you can consider for going long, or if it's better to avoid because it's doing very bad. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, you can like it and subscribe to this channel if you want to be updated when I will uh, upload new videos. And see you next time.